I got it already. I got Overlay. it. Overlay. I got it. I got it. Ugh. I had the wrong screen up. <laughs> this is what happens when this is what happens today. So, Joker Sniper thinks Carbot will conquer. Anybody else there? Anybody else? We'll see what else everybody says. Early gateway here. Not any special location here from Carbot. Getting that gas. Full wall off from Aliation. He's doing exactly what he's done. He did against ACM. We got an early scout from a pro from Carbot. Not going to get too much intel with this wall off. Nope. Well, it depends if he watched if he watched the ACM matches, then he knows that this is very standard. You know? So we'll see here. Well we got a two gate, so we're looking at some aggressive play from Carbot right now. Yeah, that doesn't surprise me at all. I, I feel like he watched those matches and he feels like he knows what he needs to do in order to beat Aliation. Now we'll see what ends up happening, but you notice how this game, Aliation, did not go double gas. Absolutely. Uh, he's going double uh, barracks right now. And up triple barracks. Yep. So we're looking at a mass bio play right now. Both these players, I think, yeah, I think we're going to have a straight up one base play from both players here. Absolutely. We've got the gas going, so he's going to go right into warp gates, I think. Or not. Yeah. Stalkers are good against early marines, so you can kite all day long, and uh, Carbot has good APM. He's pretty good at managing his units. He's got a twice as good, a twice as high APM here as Aliation, but as I saw from last game, Aliation did make it up to about uh, in the mid-50s. So we'll have well, to wait. Well, I'm looking at the APM right now, and actually, um, actually, Aliation is doing, was doing a lot higher. He was doing at 103 average for at least 20 seconds. Oh, um, yeah, I just, I look at the average APM, because, but I get what you're saying. Yeah, I mean, at, at certain points, he spikes pretty good. Now, here comes some stalkers to do some poking. Surprisingly enough, though, there's no mothership core. That's what he really needs if he wanted to be able to damage this doorway. He doesn't know what's up here. He's going to find out with these two stalkers. They're going to tell him exactly what he needs to know. He's going to see, okay, a lot of marines. And now I think this is where Carbot's going to wait up for some more reinforcements. He's going to get himself a forward pylon. And then he's going to go to town. Let's see what happens, though. He's still rallying up some stalkers over there, though, so he might try to do a, a one-base contain. It's possible, yeah. Oh, but the, actually the Marines moved down. And that did force a stalker retreat there. He did get a good count on the Marines, though. How many Marines we got on the field here? Uh, the Mothership Corps is actually going across the map right now. Uh, and okay. we have a rally from three gateways. Yeah, he's trying to just, he's trying to end this right now. Warp gates 12 seconds away. He's got a probe going out. That's what I want to know. Yep. The pylon's going to be... And he can kite this all day. He's on the move command. Okay, there we go. But the thing is, the stalkers can kite this all day. I, I think the micros... Carbot's got good micro. There, he got one. <laughs> well, we got a total of four gates now. Yeah, this is going to be a four gate all in. That's what this is. He saw, as soon as he saw Pure Marine, I mean, we got Marine all in versus four gate all in. So I think what we're going to oh, see is time warp. Or not. Wow. I think he might not have been paying attention. Nah, I don't think he was watching that. It's unfortunate for him. I don't think he expected the Marines to move out. But yeah, you're right. There's four gate. He's getting his Twilight Council's about to go down. And we're going to have two some... forward pylons, actually, if you look in the net. Oh, you're right, I see it now. Carbot's just trying to hurt the Marines. He's trying to soften them up a bit. He can still warp in at that top pylon. Good good, uh, good positioning and uh, good observation by you there. Thank you, thank you. We have another Mothership Corps also rallied out, and uh, Twilight Castle will be done probably in the next 10 to 20 seconds. Yep, that's about right. There's another warp in. 
more stalkers, more stalkers, stalkers, stalkers everywhere. You know, I really like that about Carbot because as you've said in several casts about me, that I always go mainly a lot of stalkers. And so I really like that about him. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, there's more Marines than there are stalkers right now by far. If you could get a couple uh, sentries out and force field that and get a couple zealots, oh, man. Oh, man. Well, yeah, I think if you got a, a huge wall of zealots in the front, maybe some zealot legs, he'd be able to really take those Marines hey, out. Hey, he did build a couple sentries. But he is not using the Guardians. Well, he didn't have enough energy. He just walked him in. He's just trying to snipe as many Marines as he can here. And he is winning that battle on the resources lost tab, in the units lost tab. So, oh, see, he's just hitting running, just trying to get a Marine here and there. What I really don't understand is why there are no reactors out here so he can produce the, uh, the Marines that he needs to combat them. Well, what he really needs is some Marauders. He is getting stim, but he does that need, he needs, he needs more add-ons. He does have a siege tank, which is nice. Probably siege it up right now. Yeah, and I think he saw that siege tank. He backed right up. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, oh, all right, hang on a minute. I think I need a robo. I wouldn't be able. To, I wouldn't be surprised to see a robotics bigo down here. Oh, he's gonna blink onto the high ground right there. He's gonna do a blink play right here. Oh that, man! That really nice play. Oh man, this could really. If he could do that, oh man. Well, we got two siege tanks. He might be up. Well, he's bringing them both down to the low ground. Well, understandably so. But here we go. I'm there on the high ground, running all the way in. Workers running for their lives in every direction. And he force fielded the ramp! How did he get that force field off? It must have been in the corner. I didn't even see the sentry staying in there. Yeah! Great job of that sentry. This brought it over just close enough. And he's trying and he's to snipe expanding on the back end if you can see that. I apologize for Oh, uh, I don't know about that. What happened to the siege tanks? And he got him. And he stays alive. Stimpak's not quite finished yet. Too bad he wasn't able to hit that add-on. If he had been able to focus down that add-on, oh, that would have been a nightmare for Aliation. Stimpak's now only 12 seconds away from being completed. And he did repair that engineering base, so he's not going to lose that either. It looks like he's going to try it again. I think he's going to try it again. The Mothership Corps is in position. Well, I don't know why he hasn't learned from the first time. There's a force field. That is an excellent range for a force field. Oh, oh my God. goodness. And he force fields it again. Oh, goodness, and the workers are in so much trouble. Oh, man, Aliation. Oh, Aliation. I feel for you, sir. Your poor Marines are like, please, let me in. Please. Oh, man. All oh, his killed. workers gone. Twenty workers killed. And now the Marines are going to be able to get in there, but he's just going to get the CC here, and there it goes. Blinking into the corner here. His next blink, he's going to bail out. We're past recall. Oh my oh. goodness, Carbot just absolutely sick play here. Oh my goodness. Uh, we got perfect saturation on the uh, the main, and he transferred workers over. Yes, we are did. following up with a, with a forge and another gateway. Yeah, we have a 23 worker lead and climbing for Carbot. As you can see, all of his marines are outstimmed, and he has no medevacs, and they're moving out. Well, it looks like we're going to have a counter push right now because he has nothing else he can do. I know, and but look, they're one shotable. He's just going to give up the game. Yeah, but they're they're all one shotable. Oh, you're right. He overstimmed them big yeah. time. Yeah, and he has no medevacs. And the stalkers, he's been doing really good at his blink. He can blink micro around this. Why? Oh. Oh, he's got a whole bunch of idle workers not doing anything. Does he? Yeah, he does. Oh, it's probably a miss rally. Either way. I just want to click for him, but I can't. <laughs> yeah, right? And all these units are completely stimmed out. Oh my goodness, this is not good. 
Another big warping carbon nose. Oh boy. Oh boy. Well, he is going to go ahead and back up. Looks like he scared Carbot into hanging out for a minute. He doesn't know if that army left or not. And in fact, it didn't, but he does have an oracle on the way. Where is that at? Okay, on the bottom part of his base. And he's just going to keep trying to pick off workers. Keep well, do you broke. think that Aliation should pick up his uh, CC and bring it to the third spot? Well, never mind. We've got a warp in there. Yeah, probably not good then. And it looks like these Zelts probably just going to go after these Marines. Look at this, one shot, one shot, one shot. Unfortunately, the Zelts, now he knows the army moved out, so as you can see back at Carbot's base, he is sending his army out now. He knows, okay, he backed up. Exactly. Exactly. He needs medevacs. Does he even have a starport? No. And he's so broke because of losing so many workers. He's lost 20 workers. Oh, man, this is probably going to be the final push. That Oracle, honestly, is going to be able to do so much damage because of how weak these Marines are. Or he may just yeah. take it around back. Oh, well, he's slowly gaining on the Harvester account, but that is not doing him any good at this moment. The army supply is just well in uh, Carbot's favor. Revelation being used on the Marines. So he knows exactly where the Marines are. Well done there by Carbot. I figured that was what he was going to use. So you see how he sees that whole front door now? Yeah, we got actually we got another warp in of stalkers, and I think they're just gonna get ready for a final push. Just take this right. out. Yeah, I think he's gonna straight up go right into this. Marines are backing up. Actually, might be a mistake. It depends if Carbot pays attention to that. I do not know why we just dropped. Uh, we got a total of an extra three rack and a start down there. Oh man. Well, he hit and ran. He got the siege tank because he knew the Marines were out of position. And the army supply 73 to 47. Carbot is just, oh man, looking so good here. And these Marines just basically one shot them all. You could send in probes and kill these. <laughs> that would be a thing. Yeah, that'd be a thing, wouldn't it? He's going to go use Revelation again, I almost bet you. Oh, he doesn't have enough energy. He's just kind of scouting the angling here, trying to see where he can move in. And he's going to go around back and kill some workers. That's exactly what he's going to do here. Third base is now up for car body transfer workers over there. So you're, we do you're have right. One medevac about going to be on the field probably <laughs> in about 20 seconds. Yeah, well, here goes all these SUVs. <laughs> wow. And then here comes the push into the base. Oh my goodness, Guardian Shield Stalkers versus a whole bunch of weak Marines. This is going to be GG. Oh man, the slaughterhouse. Absolutely slaughterhouse. Metamax just a little late to the party. And he is just tearing up his natural, making sure that he can secure his victory. There goes more Stalkers coming in here. As soon as he gets bitten on that high ground, he is going to wake up. There it is. And everything is dying. And that, that is going to do it. Carbot, game one, victory. Well, I guess you were right, Ascended. We did have a 2-0 uh, match here. Well, that was only game one.